God's story, Jonah. So part of God's story is about a guy named Jonah, and it goes like this. Jonah was a prophet. That means he heard things from God and told others about it. One day, God told Jonah, get up and go to the city of Nineveh. Tell them that I have seen their wicked choices, and if they keep doing bad things, I will punish them. <gasps> Instead of obeying God, Jonah got scared and decided to get on a boat and go to the city of Tarshish. Tarshish was in the opposite direction of where God told Jonah to go. When the boat was at sea, God sent a really scary storm, and all the sailors thought the ship would be destroyed. They threw a bunch of stuff into the water, hoping it would help them float. The sailors were so afraid that they prayed for help, but Jonah did not pray with them. He went inside the boat and slept. The captain saw him and said, how can you sleep right now? Pray to your God and ask for help. The sailors decided to cast lots to find out who was responsible for the storm. Casting lots is a lot like playing a game to see who's responsible when something bad happens. And guess who got picked? Jonah. So the sailors asked Jonah, who is making all this trouble for us? Where do you come from? Jonah answered, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. He also told them that he was running away from God and this made them even more scared. They asked Jonah what they should do to make the storm stop. Jonah said, pick me up and throw me into the sea. That will calm the storm. But the sailors didn't want to do that. They tried to row back to shore, but the storm was too powerful. So they decided to listen to Jonah. They told God they were sorry for what they were about to do. And then they threw Jonah overboard. And as soon as Jonah was off the boat, the storm stopped. Then, all of a sudden, a big fish swallowed Jonah. Just think what it would be like to be inside the belly of a fish. It was probably dark and wet and stinky. Jonah might have been afraid he would never get out. While Jonah was trapped inside the mm -hmm. fish, he prayed to God a lot. He asked God to forgive him for running away. And instead of getting angry about being inside of a fish, Jonah thought about all he should be thankful for. After three days and three nights, God commanded the fish to throw Jonah up on dry land. Then God told him a second time to go to Nineveh and tell the people to stop doing bad things. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh. When Jonah arrived, he told people to turn away from their evil ways or God would punish them. When people heard Jonah's warning, they all believed him, even the king. Then they put on sackcloth and fasted. Fasting is when you don't eat and pray instead. When God saw that everyone in Nineveh was ready to stop doing bad things, he had mercy on them and forgave them. But Jonah wasn't feeling so merciful. In fact, he was angry that God didn't punish the people of Nineveh. But God told Jonah, shouldn't I have concern for the city of Nineveh? It's full of lots of people who need to be rescued. You see, God is compassionate and merciful and kind. He loves us and forgives us when we disobey Him. And when we turn away from our wrong choices and follow God instead, He will always welcome us with open arms. And that's the story of Jonah. So in case you missed it, here's a quick version. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Jonah ran away. Jonah got thrown off a boat. A fish swallowed Jonah. Three days later, the fish threw Jonah up. Jonah told people to stop being wicked, and they stopped. God had mercy on them. And that's a part of God's story. 